Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yami, if you're new here, and this is Taz, my boyfriend. Her popular request, I don't know about track, but I'm just gonna go with it. We have decided to start a beginner series. We were thinking about, like I said in the last video, wait, no, back up. Today we're going to talk to you guys about, what are we doing? Motivation. Fuck, no. Per popular request or demand or whatever it is you want to call it, we decided to start a beginner series where we are just going to break down a couple points weekly and talk to you guys about those points. <laughs> we got a lot of positive feedback on our last video about tips to starting a fitness routine and we got a lot of good questions and we figured there's a lot of questions, a lot of things that people want to know and why not just make a series out of it. So we wanted to kind of bring it back and back to our roots, I guess, as far as fitness professionals and go back to the beginning and really give you guys as much information if you're starting out. Yes, and before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video and hit that little bell somewhere. I'm not, I'm not sure where it is. So you never miss a video from me or us again. Now, without further ado, today we're gonna talk about motivation, how we get motivation, and what do we do when we lack motivation. I think one of the biggest questions, not just that we get, but in general, is how do you stay motivated? I probably, I probably see it at least once a day on a, on a picture of somebody else's picture, somebody coming on uh, our pictures, whatever it is. So we wanted to kind of break down how to stay motivated, how to get motivated, and just keep pushing toward your goals. So when you start, it's very easy to get motivated, right? You have like a new plan, you buy your new clothes, you have your new sneakers, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'll take my selfies, da, da, da. It's the honeymoon phase. It's the honeymoon uh, working phase. Working out. Yeah, and it's amazing. Like, if I could live in that phase forever, I would probably look badass. 24/7, but alas, I do not. Because you're like getting up early. If you're not a morning person, you're you become a morning, morning person. person. Yeah. But what happens after that? And that's where the motivation. I think where a lot of people talk about motivation is that point. Maybe it's. I got it. I got it. I got it. And I think it's that point. Whether it's four weeks in, six weeks in, eight weeks in, where people are really looking for that kind of second push to keep going. Like, how do I get that? How, like, what do I have to take to like get motivated again? Yeah. And it, I think it boils down to one thing and one thing only, and that is how bad you want it. And it's not, at that point, it's not motivation anymore, it's discipline. All the things that you did in those first six weeks, you know, when you were super motivated, that doesn't change. Like nothing, you know, it's not like you're in a different world. You're still doing the exact same thing. You've essentially created habits and those habits, is going, it's what's gonna lead you to success. Perfect, I think she nailed it on the head. Your training and nutrition should be as routine and as habitual as brushing your teeth in the morning. After that six weeks, after that eight weeks, yeah, you might have one mess up day. And I was actually talking to somebody yesterday about, okay, he does really, really well up until eight weeks and then he has one cheat meal or one cheat day and then he's completely done. Well, that doesn't make any sense. You've worked so hard for eight weeks that one single day is not going to make or break you. But more often than not, it does. And one way I think to really combat that is to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it. Going along with what she said at the beginning is you have to know your why. You have to understand why exactly you're doing this. I find that if I place the motivation on myself, you know, it's not, I'm not doing this for her. I'm not doing this for Instagram. I'm not doing this for YouTube. I'm not, I'm not performing this cut that I'm in right now for anybody else. Because if you rest your motivation on somebody else, they're going to let you down. It's always gonna happen, you know, if say a significant other says, okay, you need to lose weight. One, that person don't need that. <laughs> right. You don't have negativity in your life. <laughs> right. And if you do it for somebody else, it's always, it's never gonna end up well. You need to understand that you're doing this for yourself and that motivation, it, it's called intrinsic motivation. It comes from inside of you, not en extrinsic. Not You're not motivated by something like a trophy or recognition or being considered worthy from somebody else. It comes from within. It's very cliche. <laughs> it's so cliche, but it's so true. And, uh, and I also want to make a note because some people are like, oh, you just want to look good. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? Like, I want to your goals your, or your why could literally be because I want to look good in a bikini. It could be I want to look good naked. It could be I want to perform better. Whatever it is, there's no wrong why there. And I want you guys to make a mental note of that because I feel like sometimes people are scared to say their why out loud because they feel like they'll be considered self-centered or conceited or whatever it is. But there's nothing wrong with looking good. There's right. nothing wrong with feeling your best and there's nothing wrong with you working towards what you want. 
Yeah. I think the problem arises is when you place that why on somebody else. I want to look good because my boyfriend wants me to look good. I want to look good because I want more Instagram followers. No, those, those reasons aren't gonna hold much ground gonna when quick. you have those bad days. You're like, oh, yeah. I don't really care about this or I don't really care about this. But if you understand, I wanna look good for myself. I wanna feel better when I look in the mirror. I wanna fit into those jeans again. All these things have to do with your intrinsic motivation. And those reasons are gonna hold up a lot better in the long run than placing your motivation on somebody else. One thing that I found helped me using like this intrinsic motivation instead of relying on other people, it's this like little exercise that you do with yourself. I talked about it in my last Facebook live challenge with my challenge girls, but, and I'm probably gonna mess it up because I always do, but it's think about what kind of person you wanna be. Like let's say you wanna lose 20 pounds. You're in the kitchen and you are, I don't know, on your meal plan, your flexible dieting, whatever it is, and you see a cake and you want that cake really bad. But your thought, this exercise is, <laughs> the exercise is you think about the person that you wanna be and then you think would that person eat that cake? So you think sure. to yourself, would Yami 20 pounds lighter binge on that cake? Probably not, you know? And it can be, you can do this exercise with whatever it is. So like if you, you have a messy kitchen and you're like, what kind of person do you wanna be? I wanna be a person that's clean. I wanna be a person that has a nice apartment. That person, that person wouldn't leave those dishes on the kitchen counter. Just a little example. So maybe next time you're faced with these decisions to eat the cake or not go to the gym or whatever it is, maybe have that little exercise in the back of your mind. And um, it's helped me a ton. I did that last night actually at work. I'm like, I, I sometimes I'm like super lazy on the couch and I don't want to clean and I'm like, I don't want to be a messy bitch. So, <laughs> so I'll get up and clean. So, you know, just a little exercise to, to try and help you guys find that little extra motivation sometimes. Right, we're all human, we're all gonna have these temptations. It's just a matter of how you deal with these temptations, I think, is what creates that success. You know, last night, like I just said a second ago, at work, if you don't know, we work in the restaurant industry, where she's a server, I'm a bartender, we're around food, all basically our entire shift. And it's easy, easy enough, it's accessible enough to, you know, grab something that you shouldn't have. And, Last night, you know, I was eating, I brought my food, I prepped, prepped my food for work, and I was eating it, but somebody walked in with a plate of sliders, like little burgers, and they were considered dead, and they couldn't go out, so they, they were for us to eat. And free, free, free food, guys, free. Let's, let me add that. It's free food, and it's not bad food, too, so like the temptation is it's, real it's, it's, all the no, time. It's good, it's good <laughs> food, but I was thinking, okay, I'm, I'm doing this, do I want that little slider now that's gonna satisfy me for five minutes? Not even, like five yeah, seconds. Maybe five seconds, because it's like this big, it's, like, <laughs> it's, it's a bite size. Or am I looking past that slider and seeing my ultimate goal of whatever it is? So it's really keeping, keeping the blinders on. You really have to keep the blinders on. And it's easier said than done, but that's what you have to do. But like we said in the beginning, um, the more you do it, the more it becomes a habit and you're not gonna wanna even think about that slider or that cake or whatever. Or maybe you have a little bit of it and then move on. But you know, when you're, when you're in a strict program or a strict regimen that you don't want to deter from, that's just what you need to do. That's it. And today, I woke up two pounds lighter. Woo -woo! So it's one of those things that that slider might have tasted good in the moment and it might have led to two or three or four, hopefully not. But I love the feeling more of waking up, getting closer to my goal the next day. I think that's it. I think that's it. That was pretty concise, pretty quick. Right. And uh, so, we were talking though. Sorry, go ahead. No, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. So motivation, when it comes down to it, it's got to come from within. It sounds so cliche. It does. But you know, you have to understand, you have, a, have to have a good understanding of why you're doing something. Yeah. And as soon as you grasp a good why, and we find as coaches, typically the strongest whys are emotionally driven. Usually it's, you know, I want to be better for my children. I want to live a longer life. I want to get stronger. It's usually... I feel better about myself when I look in the mirror. Yeah, it's, it's not... really like emotionally driven. They're really attached to emotionally. Any decision worth making is typically emotionally driven. So maybe take some time if you're on a fitness journey right now to, to start from the beginning and try to figure out your why. You know, your why. Yeah, why you're doing this. And then maybe that'll light a fire under your butt to keep going stronger, stronger than ever. So... With all of that said, I think we're going to end it up, wrap it up here. 
Um, I think we, we made our point, what we wanted to say. Maybe um, it wasn't what you guys were looking for, but that's what it is. <laughs> it, yeah, there's no magic pill, there's no magic trick. It's like, you just gotta do it. It's, it's discipline over- Day in and day um, out. Yeah, discipline day in and day out. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really excited because Taz and I are brainstorming ideas for this series. And comment below if you have any questions. Or yeah, if you have any ideas, comment below. Topics you want us to talk about. As of right now, we're hoping to um, to upload these every Friday. I don't have a set amount. We don't have like you know. It's just gonna be ongoing. Ongoing, and you know maybe we won't do it a week. Maybe we'll do t every other week. Whatever it is, but it'll be on Fridays. So like I said, if you guys have any requests or anything, please put them down in the comment box, and uh, we'll get to them. But we do have. Awesome, awesome ideas coming up that I'm really excited for, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And like I said, subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video and hit that bell wherever it is Bing. so you get notified of when we go um, live. So, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Taz, for being here. And give this video a thumbs up, guys. Give it this really video a thumbs up. It really helps us know that you enjoy the content. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.